friends! So today's video, we're going to be talking about everything that I am decluttering. Uh, I did a declutter earlier this year. Um, if you want to see it, I'll leave it in a link in a card up here. I got rid of a lot of stuff earlier this year and I was looking at my collection and I was filming another video where I was like, there's a lot of things that I haven't used in over several months and things that I probably will not use that I went through and I grabbed a collection and selection of things that I'm going to be getting rid of either tossing if they're too old to donate or passing off to friends and family stuff. So I have actually quite a bit of things because I was a bit more brutal with my declutter now, uh, just thinking about the end of the year. And I'm like, if I have to move in the next year, I really don't want to have to bring all this shit with me. That, that's where my mind is a lot of times. I'm like, oh, if I have to move, I have to move all of this. So let's get talking about some stuff that I'm getting rid of. Cool. Okay. Now this one, I thought about a lot and then I realized that I just don't need it anymore. This palette is the Anastasia Artist Palette from I don't even fucking know how long ago. It looks like this. The thing is I can see myself using this, but only really a handful of colors in here. I actually use a lot of, I don't think I would ever pan this. It, it, it would be like a chore to pan this for me. And it's been sitting in my drawer for so long where I'm like, I'm just not going to use this. And I, I don't need to keep it just because it fits in my larger collection of like Anastasia palettes. And I feel like getting rid of this will like even stop me from buying more Anastasia palettes for the sake of collecting them and like literally look at the back of this thing like it's so fucking old and like the magnet is like worn off a bit it's just it I don't need it anymore and I'm sorry and I need to get rid of it another one that I grappled with for a while but then after using it more recently I realized this doesn't work the same way it used to and that's also another reason why I'm getting rid of like these eyeshadow palettes because when they get that old they just don't work as well because they're old. The Urban Decay electric palette. I know, I know, I know. Even me two years ago were like, what are you doing? This palette is, it's so old. It's so very old. And I don't use it enough to justify still having it. The shades don't work as well as they used to because they are more just straight pigments. They're not nearly as like creamy and smooth as like a traditional eyeshadow. They don't work that well. It's a pain to use this now because they are older and I'm just not, I'm not gonna use it anymore. And I'm sorry, it's just taking up space in my drawer just for the sake of taking up space. And I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't, I'm, 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 I'm decluttering, I'm decluttering the electric palette. Okay, I said it on the internet. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> One that I mentioned recently in a video where I was like, why did I even buy this to begin with? I'm gonna be giving this to my sister actually. I told her, I was like, just fucking use it because she isn't as picky about makeup as I am. This isn't like, this isn't that used. Like this was a product I regret buying because I prefer the Juvia's Place formula to this one. Um, this is the Suva Beauty Block Party palette in case I didn't say that already. I just, I, I'm not gonna use this because I like the Juvia's Place one more and I don't need to keep this in my drawer. If my sister doesn't use it, I'll give it to a friend of mine who actually does wear makeup. Yeah, I'm just not gonna use this. <laughs> I went in on the powder blushes, okay? I went in on the blushes because I have a lot of really old ones. I'm getting rid of two MAC blushes for several reasons. I don't use these enough and I don't support MAC anymore as a brand. Like I don't want to use them on my channel. And so, so many times when I'm like reaching into my drawer and like grabbing something that I haven't used in a while, it's something that I'm like, I'm going to put my makeup on to film and it'll be a good time. But I don't want to use these while I'm filming because I don't want to recommend it to you. You know, it's like, it's, it's just like a weird thing in my head. And this, these are also both very fucking old. This is, um, the shade Adored. It's worn off so much. It's one of the mineralized skin finish blushes. It's like a peachy beige. Like I used it a lot when I first got it and I just haven't reached for it recently. And it's just not something that I'm using a lot. I used this a lot, I did. 
And that's the thing with both of these products. I used them a lot and I still haven't hit pan. And I'm like, am I ever going to hit pan? They are going to be so far gone by the time I would hit pan on these that there's no point in keeping them now. So that one I'm getting rid of. And then this one is uh, Azalea Blossom. This is one of the things that I've kept, I feel like over the years because it was limited edition and I like didn't want to ever not have it because it was so beautiful. It is still objectively like pretty, but again, it's not something that I want to reach for to use for filming because I don't want to talk about MAC stuff. These things are both going to be going back to MAC specifically. I am going probably, probably just empty out the powders because they're too old to pass on. But MAC does a thing. One thing that MAC does that is very good is that they actually do a back to MAC thing where if you bring in empty containers, I think it's six empty containers, you can get a free lipstick. So I might do that with these MAC products if I have enough to donate, if I have enough to do a back to MAC. I might end up just getting a lipstick that I know I will like. That might be something that I get if there's enough things to go back to MAC. Getting rid of these guys. Um, a blush that the outside is so very disgusting now. This is one of the first blushes I bought so many years ago. This is Dusseur from NARS. It still miraculously smells fine and it is very, very old. It's probably from like 2012, like at least six, seven. I mean, it's, it's at least like six years expired at this point. And that's the thing. I haven't used these in so long. Like, like, this probably still works fine because these blushes had like a formula that was very unique and like soft and powdery. I don't know. I'm, I'm just not going to use this NARS blush. It's not com like I hate picking it up because this is so sticky and I'm just not, I'm not going to and I'm sorry. Sorry to my old self for not finishing the things that I bought. Uh, a ColourPop blush that I bought. This was like one of the first ColourPop products I bought. Why did I ever think purple blushes were something that I would rock on a regular basis? I have no idea. This is in the shade Rain. I know why I bought it because I thought it was cheeky because I live in Seattle. Ooh, it rains. So this is a blush uh, Super Shock Cheek. And I'm just, I'm literally like, I don't use the Super Shock Cheek blushes enough. Like it's not the easiest thing to use and it's just not a shade that's gonna be flat. Like it barely picks up any product anymore. That's the thing with these Super Shock things is that like when you first use them, they're absolutely gorgeous, but I feel like they dry out and lose so much pigmentation so quickly that like I am having to build this up so much to get any color on it. It's just... Yeah, that's not gonna look nice on my cheeks. It's just not gonna look good. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. <laughs> and then a blush that I have had for a very long time. Again, these are all very old products for me. This is the Soap and Glory Love at First Blush. It is a Rose Radiance Shimmer Powder. It's a blush powder, a highlighty blush powder. And when I first bought this, when I first started using it, I was using it a lot, but Something about the formula isn't what I like anymore. It's like really dry and just like kind of, it's, it's a very dry consistency that doesn't translate as well on my skin anymore. And again, this is expired. All of these products I'm pretty sure are expired at this point. And then a highlighter I actually got at, in, in, I think this was like a free thing in something. Uh, it's a Laura Geller little gold gelée. Um, this shade is far too dark for me. Look at that. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely pretty. I have enough gold eyeshadows to use and this is just like a tiny little pan. It's way too dark for my face for a cheek highlight. The formula is gorgeous. Like I would love to use this, but like as you can see as soon as I like move my hand from the shimmer it's just dark like that would leave the weirdest cast on my face so getting rid of this I'll probably give this to Libby honestly I'm just gonna have like a little box full of things of like here take this I don't want it anymore a few lip products. Uh, Train Bleu from NARS this is so dry like it's just not this formula it was really nice when I first bought it. It's one of the like matte velvet pencils. When I first bought it, it was an absolutely great formula, but the longer I've had it, the more it's dried out. It's just not easy to apply and it's patchy. It just doesn't work for me anymore. And I'm glad that I'm purging myself of a handful of NARS things because I just have too much of it. Cause I bought a lot of NARS things a long time ago. Like I fucked with NARS a lot and I just, this lipstick, it's an absolutely gorgeous color. I need to find a shade like this in a formula that I really like. 
I have a uh, Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Plague, which is a cream lipstick. This was before they like relaunched the Vice lipsticks in the new containers. This is not a shade that I wear anymore. It's not a shade that I would wear. It's like a shimmery metallic purple. It's just not something that I that I will gravitate to or choose to put on my mouth. The formula is not bad. Like it's not a terrible formula for a metallic lipstick, but again, it's a metallic lipstick and I hate metallic lipsticks now. Speaking of metallic lipsticks, these are three that I still might keep one just to have because it's so unique. These are three lipsticks from the Portland Black Lipstick Company. And these formulas, the lipsticks are fantastic. Not saying they're good, they're bad. All I'm saying is that these are fucking old and they've dried out and they're not easy to apply anymore. They're they're very old. The shade Lux Act Voluptas. Um, this is like, oh, and it's so scratchy and dry. Yeah, this is just, it's, it's this shade right here. I'm not gonna wear that on my mouth. It's just not flattering anymore. Um, I have the shade Irony, but it's again, th like this shade is such a beautiful like cranberry maroon, but this is dried out. It's not easy to apply. Like it's chunky now and it smells not good. Like it does not- It smells not good. It does not smell good. And then Bad Penny, which is slightly less like sticky than Irony, but that's this shade right here. This one isn't nearly as metallic as, as Irony, but it's still not one that I'm going to pick up. This is the only one that I might keep around but the other two definitely going away. And then a MAC lipstick that I bought for some reason. Why? I don't know. This is one of the dumbest lipstick purchases I have ever made. Um, it's the shade On and On. The, sh the color itself is absolutely fucking cool. Like, not gonna lie, that's like the coolest shade. This is not opaque. It is not flattering on my lips. It does not go on easily. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful shade for an eyeshadow, not for a lipstick for me. This uh, lipstick will be going back to MAC as well. Um, isn't, it isn't as old as other ones, but this was when I like jumped on the frosty lipstick train for like a hot minute. And then I was just like, why did I get on this train? I'm not, this isn't a place where I want to go. Stop. MAC, sorry, gonna leave that in the past. Um, I have two Milani lip products that I, one I liked when I bought it. One, I don't know why I bought it. This is the uh, lip, a more matte lip cream. This is like one of the like metallic matte. It's a really cool color, but again, it's kind of metallic. I need to just like take a day and just like try out some of these things more and see if it's something that I might want to like bring back into my like regular makeup rotation. It still smells, mm, actually, I can't tell if that's coming from this. No, it still smells fine actually. The, it doesn't smell terrible. Um, It's it's like a matte metallic lips, lip stain thing. And then this one, what was I thinking? This is one of their Hypnotic Lights uh, lip topper from Milani. What is this? What? What is that? Who? I'm not gonna wear that. Really cool eyeshadow shade. Not a lipstick. I think when I bought it initially, I was thinking it was going to be more like a lip gloss. And if this was like a bluish gloss, ooh, I would have fucked with this really hard. I would have worn like pink lipstick with a blue, ooh, that would have been awesome. But this is one of those like dry down shimmery things that you put on top of lipsticks. Oh, and I hate it so much. <laughs> like I bought this and then I tried it and I immediately was like, should I go back and return this? And even like on my hand, I can feel it like drying down. It has to have some alcohol in it cause it's not comfortable on the lips either. So getting rid of this, a couple of lip liners that I never use. Um, I have the suede matte lip liner from NYX in uh, black. I never wear lip liners. I don't know why I own lip liners. I never wear them. And then I have the NYX lip liner pencil in nutmeg. Um, so that's those two shades. I'm not gonna wear them. My hand smells so waxy. My hand smells like Play-Doh right now. <laughs> that's how you know these things are fucking old. If it smells like Play-Doh, it's old. And then the last thing I'm going to be decluttering is a glitter that 
I bought initially several years ago. This probably is like, it hasn't gone bad. It's a loose glitter. So it's like, it should be fine, but it's an OCC glitter um, in the shade. I think it was disco ball. Yeah. It literally has a not applicable expiration date. Maybe I could use this on my nails. That might be kind of fun. I might use this on my nails. Who knows? Cause I'm not going to use it on my eyes. <laughs> I'm not going to use it on my face. Yeah. Actually I might literally do that. Cause that's pretty on my nails. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use these on my nails. <laughs> I'm not going to use it on my face, uh, but it's a glitter. It's very silvery white. So it just like doesn't translate really, really well on my eyes. It's not easy to use. It's so messy um, to use on the face. Like I said, I'll use it on my nails cause it actually might work on those. But yeah, it's very old and I never use it. I just don't use loose glitter enough. Like if I want to buy glitter, I'm going to buy the Stila the Stila uh, glitter and glow eye toppers. I just don't use loose glitter. Loose glitter is a pain in my ass. Yeah. So that's a nice little pile of things that I'm getting rid of. Wow. I'm impressed with myself. I'm pleased with myself. I'm glad that I got rid of a handful of blushes because I realized looking at my blush collection the other day and I was like, I don't actually have a lot of blushes from brands that I want to support. And most of the blushes I had were from Mac and NARS and I don't buy from them anymore. And I'm like, why do I still have these? So I did not get rid of everything that I have from those brands. There are still some things that I use regularly that I don't want to declutter yet because I still get use out of them on a semi-regular basis. So um, I still own some things from those brands in my collection. I didn't get rid of all of them, but I hope this was encouraging to any of you who've been meaning to get rid of some stuff out of your collection and to clutter things. Like I said, I will be uh, either discarding things that are too old to donate, passing stuff off to my sister, emptying out Mac containers to bring them back to Mac. Um, today's song of the day. Let's see. Let's give you a song with my swatched hand. Song of the day is what is gonna be. Song of the day is this specific string cover of Toxic by Britney Spears. This is very obscure, I know, but it was in a trailer for the movie Promising Young Woman. And that movie looks fucking perfect and fire and amazing. And I want to see it and I'm so excited. But the specific cover of Toxic by Britney Spears is like cool and sinister and like starts out with this like really cool, like dissonant note on the violin violin and it just, oh, like I was listening to it the other day and it made me feel like a badass bitch. And I was like, yes, this is what I want in my music right now. Um, so I'll leave a link to both the trailer for the movie as well as the song, like a link to the song that I found online. It took me a bit to find the actual version of it because there's a ton of other violin covers of that song, but um, yes please check it out. It's very good. Please check out the movie trailer. It looks amazing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please uh, subscribe if you're new here and you haven't checked out my channel before. Hello, nice to have you here. I've been doing Vlogmas all month. I've been uploading a video every single day. Ah, this is the third one I've, up I've filmed today and my battery has lasted the entire time. I'm very proud of it. Thanks to my patrons. Y'all are fantastic. I appreciate you ever so much all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>